Once every few years, a holiday-centric movie comes out with an all-star cast and is a major hit. But now, there are enough to successfully binge-watch your way through most of the holidays. Valentine's Day, February 14th. You either love it or you hate it. But in 2010, New Line Cinema loved it enough to create a movie based around the Hallmark holiday. Oh my gosh, I totally love him. And I'm crazy about her. The cast was massive. Jessica Alba, Jessica Biel, Bradley Cooper, Jamie Foxx, Jennifer Garner, Ashton Kutcher, and Julia Roberts all starred in the film. Moving to May holidays, it was announced Wednesday that Julia Roberts, Jennifer Aniston, Kate Hudson, and Jason Sudeikis are in negotiations to star in Mother's Day. Aside from the solid A-list cast, the film reunites Roberts with her pretty woman, runaway bride, and Valentine's Day director, Gary Marshall. Hollywood seems to be missing out on capitalizing on quite a few summer holidays. Where is the Father's Day or 4th of July film? Just throwing it out there, Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth, Mark Ruffalo, and Adam Scott would make for a pretty great Father's Day cast. Skipping over fall movies to the winter holiday season, there's never been a shortage of Christmas ensemble cast movies. The 2003 Christmas romantic comedy Love Actually had a rock star cast, including Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, Colin Firth, Emma Thompson, Keira Knightley, Billy Bob Thornton, and Alan Rickman. And we know what you're thinking. But it's not called Christmas Day. No, it's not. But if every Christmas theme movie were called Christmas Day, we'd be on Christmas Day part 200 at this rate. We can finish off our binge watching session with a 2011 film, New Year's Eve. The insanely large cast, there's at least 20 big name stars in the film, did decently well in theaters, bringing in $142 million. Maybe the next holiday film could be based around a table at Thanksgiving, with four unlikely couples finding their lives intertwined. For Newsy, I'm Lexi Hammersfar.